Hey guys, welcome back. Well, it's time for Time Lapse Friday. Today we're going to do a special request. I received a question to do a lifeguard station. All right, here we go. Right guys, well last week when I did the first time lapse video uh, or time lapse Friday video, I received a question to uh, do narration anyway, right? So uh, I'll do that. Well, uh, as you can see, I'm starting here with the base of our uh, lifeguard station and basically it's all uh, polygonal uh, cubes. So I'm just uh, pulling those out to make the flat base for the floor, to make the verticals and then to make that railing. Now, of course, as per usual, you are going to duplicate as many objects as you can. There's no point in creating things new if you can just grab them and modify them or duplicate them. So that's what I'm doing here as well. And I'm uh, obviously trying to get that lined up nicely. And the reason for that is once this is in place, it will give me a better understanding of the proportions and the scale of the uh, the main uh, building or cabin, if you will. Um, and, uh, you know, that really helps to get a, a visual perspective. Scaling out that roof there. Uh, I want to have a door in uh, the cabin. Uh, I want to do an add on instead of a cut out. Uh, so I need to add uh, some uh, little details, right? So maybe some boarding, um, a doorknob, obviously, and, uh, you know, some, some slats in the window to give that uh, visual idea of having glass in there once it's textured all right there you go and again duplicating where i can little doorknob there and extrude that little section out of that sphere and i flatten that a little bit now typically these lifeguard stations are uh, open in season and when they're not they have big shutters uh, in front of the windows so that's what I'm doing here. So I put one on the side and I cut out that window there in the front. Uh, initially I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with this. I knew I wanted to have shutters, uh, wooden shutters, um, but obviously I didn't want them to be closed so I put them at an angle and for that reason later on I decide to uh, close up that gap and uh, use a glass plane for that so you don't see the black inside, right? So uh, shutters are open. You can see those little uh, pieces of wood at an angle holding them open. And then I'm starting to work on the, uh, the entrance way, I guess. First, I'm gonna do the verticals to get it raised off the floor, putting some uh, vertical beams in there and some cross beams. And that's a mold. That's this, you know, kind of pretty straightforward stuff. But it uh, visually it does a lot. So uh, I didn't really use a, uh, a reference here, or actually I used multiple. I just looked at a couple of photographs and decided, you know, to use different elements from that. Here I'm reusing that main space there. Uh, like I said, no need to do everything twice. Um, trying to create some kind of hinge deal there in the middle to give an idea that it's actually connected somewhere. And then I'm going to put in a flagpole. Now, of course, a lifeguard station has a flagpole and uh, I want to do that with an end cloth object. So initially I want to make sure that I got a lot of subdivision there and then I do a transform constraint and I test it. But you see it's collapsing, collapsing into itself. But also, I want to have a good simulation of strong wind at the beach. So I decided to just uh, not do the transform constraint, have it just drop straight down so I get those folds, and then just uh, delete the history and put it into place, right? Putting some detailing on the window in the front there, shutters in the back. And basically, at this point, I'm just cleaning it up. I'm taking it out into Keyshot to do a quick uh, render. And uh, that's all there's to it. Now the uh, the total time uh, I use to create this is I would say about an hour. And um, to be quite honest, uh, I wasn't in a hurry, you know, having a cup of coffee while I was doing that. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is our end result, and uh, that's it for this tutorial or this time lapse, I should say. 
Uh, let me know if you enjoy this method better with some narration to it. Uh, if not, uh, please let me know in the comments and I'll put uh, music instead. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.